The most common method of creating a black and white is to use a black and white adjustment layer. Before we do that, I'm going to zoom in on my image with Command plus, 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 and get really far in so that we can really see the colors. Then I'm going to go down here to my Layers panel, right to the bottom, choose Black and White uh, Adjustment Layer, and here we go. So the default uh, comes up, and you'll notice that it creates the black and white using all of the color channels in the image. So what happens is if I would like to change the blue, these little pieces of glass are blue here, so if I slide the blue to lighter or darker, you can see that it creates a lighter or darker blue in the black and white. It uses blue to create the black and white, and that's how I adjust it. You can also use these little default settings up here, for example, blue filter or a high contrast filter, neutral density, and sometimes you find something that you like here. If you don't uh, find something that you like there, I'm going to go ahead and put the settings all the way back to normal. This little arrow here will do that, and that is the default that um, I had when I first created my black and white. What I can also do, and I really like this method, is to go over here and click on this little finger icon. I can then go right into my image and click on the color I'd like to make lighter or darker. So if I click here, I can pull it to the right and it's going to take the yellow and make the yellow a little bit lighter. I can go down here and click and move the blue, make the blue a little bit darker. And in this way, I can create a custom black and white exactly how I think that I would like it to be since it's using color to create black and white.